Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel. Today we're going to check out Tux the Penguin and some other weird mascots. I've gotten more and more involved in using Linux. It's not every day that an operating system has its own mascot. I mean, yes, there are some. This one seems to be very prevalent with Linux. I'm like, why? Why have one? And then I started thinking, and it's actually some pretty brilliant marketing. Now, Windows doesn't necessarily have a mascot. I've heard that they have some anime mascots. For instance, the Windows mascot for Windows 10, the anime mascot is Tauco. Didn't know that. I thought the only Windows mascot that they had for Windows operating system was Clippy. I don't know if you remember Clippy. Very annoying. But when I think of Windows, I don't think of Clippy. I don't think of Taco. I think of just the actual logo, the Windows logo, the inanimate object, Windows. <laughs> and with Apple, Apple doesn't necessarily have a mascot either. I mean, as close as you can say that it has one is the actual Apple with the bite being taken out of it. They also had this weird creepy guy face thing for a while that they were using. I really don't even know what to call it. It was really weird. It was always creepy to me. And they had that. But Linux has Tux as the penguin. And I did a little research on what is this mascot here? What? Why do they have a mascot? And it actually is, you know, something Linus Torvalds, the guy who created the Linux kernel, he loves himself some penguins. I don't know. This is a quote I'm reading from the Tux wiki page. It has its own wiki page. This is from an interview with Linus. I've been to Australia several times these days, mostly for linux.conf.au. But my first trip, and the one when I was bitten by the ferocious fairy penguin, you really should keep those things locked up, was in 93 or so talking about Linux for the Australian Unix users group. You know, they went through, they went through some designs and and they, you know, they ended up landing on this one done by a gentleman named Larry Ewing. And all he asks with the condition of using it that permission to use and modify this image is granted provided you acknowledge me, Lewing, at isc.tamu.edu and the GIMP if someone asks. He used the GIMP application. That's great. Free and open source software. Just showing you some of the iterations that they have here in the gallery just because... Look, I'm weird. I thought it was I thought it was unique that there was a actual mascot that gets pushed forward for an operating system. So I checked it out. Multiple different versions here that you can see. It's a cartoon looking penguin, guys. I know. It says it, it's supposed to be him after a good meal, looking fat and happy. And he does. That is Tux. And it says the first person who called the penguin Tux was James Hughes, who said it stood for Torvalds Unix. However, Tux is also an abbreviation for Tuxedo. So there you go. You know, why do I even care? Why did I even run this video? I found it interesting because there are certain companies and certain brands that use mascots to a marketing advantage. And I wonder if this is something that could be leveraged a little better for Linux. You know, for instance, when you think Nintendo, you think Mario, right? You should think Mario, maybe you think Link, maybe you think some other things, but generally speaking, you definitely think Mario. What about Sega Genesis or Sega, I should say? You think Sonic, right? It's easy for gaming companies to have that mascot. What about Frosted Flakes? here in America, they're great, right? You got the tiger, you got Tony the tiger, you know, that's that's something that I grew up with and I connect anytime I see that, my mouth starts watering for frosted flakes. I'm not saying I want my mouth frothing for penguins or for some random food when I look at ducks, but I do think it's interesting. Now, there have been some branding things that have taken place actually with games and other applications. You know, I don't know if you've ever played Tux Cart. If you haven't, it's a free and open source game you can check out. It's cool. It uses Tux. There he is. And supposedly even something like Team Fortress 2, they awarded players with an in-game Tux doll. That's cool. I thought that's a pretty smart way to have some branding going on. And you know, even on my channel, I use, when I'm specifically talking about Linux, I will regularly on my thumbnail put Tux the Penguin on there. When you see it, you easily know that's dealing with Linux once you get in 
to the community. But I wonder if there's some ways to leverage some things more. If someone was creating and building hardware, like a laptop or a desktop, like, you know, a company like System76 or Slimbook or one of those companies, they probably have some sort of badge or sticker or something that you can have on there. And this shows tux in it. If it doesn't, it should in some shape, form or fashion that works within the branding of their own company. Because branding is something that really does tend to work on a conscious level and sometimes on a subconscious level. The penguin, my kids think are cool. You know, they think the penguin's cool. You know, they want to, they want to try out uh, Linux, like I told you, I've installed Pop! OS on one of my uh, son's computers, and it will end up being all of them at some point. FYI, spoiler alert. But they think the penguin's cool. Young age to old man or old woman, you know, you have something there. And I'm like, look, I know we're talking about a cartoon penguin. I, I know that. I'm really talking about branding. You know, one of the things that is interesting to me that the one who has the big operating system, the one who has the worst, <laughs> ended up becoming the best at marketing itself. There, I'm telling you guys, that creepy face thing that Mac OS said was weird, really weird. And then they started branding with the Apple logo. That was smart. One other one that I should note is that BSD you know, you typically see the devil with BSD, a little cartoon, cute devil with BSD. I think that's uh, smart for branding as well. What, what do we gain from this? What do we gain from a little cartoon penguin? I think if you're a Linux user, branding in and of itself just gets it out there forward in an easy way. If I put out an acronym, you know, or multiple commands on my t-shirt or on a thumbnail a lot of our culture today doesn't understand that you may get the joke but you know with a command line joke on a t-shirt but they probably won't and that's okay it's cool to have your own thing i'm not saying that we shouldn't have those things those things are cool and fun but i also think we should um leverage tux a little more just my personal opinion you know if you go to i haven't been able to go to uh, Linux conference, you know, whether the one in Australia mentioned here or in Austin or or wherever in the world, I haven't been to one yet. And, you know, I don't know if it's right for me. I, I'm interested. I'm not a developer. So I would be soaking in a bunch of information that I'm actually interested in learning. But outside of that, is there a cultural group, a cultural collection of Linux users where we chat and talk about what Linux is to us and what our daily life is. Not the next greatest piece of software or code or this great developer or this great piece of open source software or application. Really just talking about the culture, talking about what we're about, what it's like. I think the Penguin, it's just a really smart logo and branding piece for Linux. And when we start to get into some of these more cultural things, you know, you may not know this, but I personally feel that Linux is definitely going to be growing specifically because of Steam Deck and Proton. This is going to put Linux users right in front of the masses. I think it's gonna grow uh, our crew and there's gonna be a bunch of non-technical people. You know, what's funny to me in my circles, I'm the most technically proficient person. You probably are if you're watching this as well. There's a lot of people who are more technically proficient than me. You know, my channel's nerdy, but there's some super nerdy YouTube channels and I love them and I watch them and I learn from them. Not being in the IT space like I used to be uh, regularly, I I'm disconnected to some of that. Tux, he's cool. If we were gonna rank mascots and logos, as far as from a branding perspective, I know Windows and Apple are the most recognizable, but I'm just talking about from a brand recognition, if they were to have, if everything were equal, if everyone were to have the same marketing platform, I think Linux is awesome. I think it's up there. I think it's at the top. Free BSDs, definitely up there. The Apple, it's classic and iconic and you see it on something, you know exactly what it is. They did a killer job. Windows, they keep changing the shape of the window and it's a window. Then you've got Clippy and then you've got anime characters, whatever. I just wanted to just kind of share my random thoughts today about Tux. That is something that we might want to leverage as a community a little more that I love that is in some games and some other applications, but I think it could be leveraged even more uh, by hardware companies that use Linux 
specifically. I think there are some that use that penguin. You know, you have young kids and they see a cool, cute penguin, they hold on to it, they snuggle it, they love it. And let's face it, that's what we do with our Linux operating systems. We hug it, we love it, we pet it, we love it. Thanks for listening to me ramble today about Tux the Penguin. I'll see you later.